be in in a minute. Thanks. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, okay. Thanks. You can take a break, Bill. You sure? She's in no danger from me. Shut the fuck up. I'm sure. If I need you... I'll be right outside. Well, that call? Another one died. That's four. Four dead. And two women from the waiting room in critical condition. If they die, that's two more people's blood on your hands. Four? What? They were there for abortions, right? Four more people's blood on my hands. But wouldn't that be ironic, seeing that they were there with the intention of killing their children and end up dying themselves? There's sort of a, sort of a biblical justice to that. You don't deny it? No. You know you'll end up dead or in jail for the rest of your life. Well, not dead. Not in California. We're not Texas. Doesn't matter to you. On the contrary, it matters very much. But it's just all part of the price. The price for? The price for believing. Believing? What's your name? Detective Jenkins. No, oh, no. Your name, not your rank. Not your serial number. Jane. Ah, Jane Jenkins. Mike Monahan, pleased to meet you. Well, Jane, all of this, the incarceration, the hate, the possibility of death, it's all just part of the price of believing. Believing? Yeah. And tell me, Michael, what is it that you believe that makes all of this all right? I believe in the sanctity of life. And yet, you're a killer multiple times over. More than you know. And how do you reconcile that, Michael? I'm killing the killers, Jane. They're simply exercising their legal right to choose. Choose death for another human being. Not a human being, a fetus. A fetus has the potential to be human. Wait, the potential to be human? The potential to be human? Come on now, Jane, you don't actually believe that, do you? Potential to be human is one of the most transparent, flimsy rationalizations in history. As a matter of fact, I do believe it. The fetus is not a fully formed human being. Oh, and what is a fully formed human being? If form equals humanity, let's just kill the dwarves and the genetically imperfect. The brain isn't even active until 25 weeks. Oh, and that clearly delineates humanity. Is that what you're saying? No, but what I am saying is while it's a part of a woman's body, it's her choice. The choice of life or death. Yes. So my body, my choice, that sort of thing. Exactly that sort of thing. And the fact that this other person is separate from you, this other being that your it body is supporting. It is not supporting. separate. It is a part of my body. It is not separate. Oh, can you, can you control this part of your body? What? Can you control it? Can you make it do things? Can you stop it from moving, from kicking? It is a separate being. And I can't control my heart beating It either. is a separate being that's a part of your body. That's not what the law says. Which law? The law of the state of California. The law of the United States. The law in most civilized countries around the world. The law has historically considered black people to be property. Has considered women to be second class citizens. Has considered Jews and, and Catholics and Muslims to be less than human. Government-sanctioned genocide is a historical staple. This isn't what we're here to talk about, Michael. This is exactly what we're here to talk about. No, we're talking about you planting bombs and killing innocent people. Are you religious, Michael? Well, that would make it easy, no, wouldn't it? Are you? 
Well, as it happens, I was raised Roman Catholic, but I couldn't deal with the hypocrisy, so I'm not a member currently of any organized religion. You have your own personal religion. I have my own relationship with God. And is it this God who asks you to do these things? Oh, stop it. Stop what? No, I am not hearing voices that tell me to do things. I'm not a member of the religious right. I don't speak with a southern You've accent. You've murdered four innocent people <laughs> innocent. so far. Rational people do not just No, I am it. rational. It's irrational to kill people because no, God they don't damn want it, to I am it. rational. Sit down, Michael. You're going to have to stay calm. This is no time to be calm, Jane. Nevertheless, I'm going to have to ask you. Okay, Jane. Okay. This is no time to be calm. People are dying. People are being killed on a global level. When it happened in Nazi Germany, they called it a holocaust. And if you believe that unborn children are human beings, then it is a holocaust every single day. Every day is Auschwitz, every day is Buchenwald. Children are being murdered by the thousands using methods that if you, if you use them on animals, they would throw you in jail. If you truly believe that they're human, would anything be too much to try to stop it? If, 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 you, if you bomb a concentration camp in 1944, you would be hailed as a hero today for trying to stop the slaughter. If you believe the law is wrong, work to change the law. Don't kill innocent people. Innocent people are dying already. That doesn't make it all right to kill someone just because their beliefs are different from yours. These people believe in what they do, and they are backed by the law. They are exercising their legal rights. They are killers. That's not what the law says. You know, sometimes it's a case of their own health. Sometimes it's a case of rape. Oh, really? What's the percentage? What? What percentage is their health, is life or death? What percentage is rape? I don't know. Well, I do. 2.8% is life or death. 1% is rape. That is 3.8%. Aside from that, it's, oops, should have used a condom. And that's a reason to kill, for convenience. It's uh, always not the right time. Or it's, uh, oh, no, you have to because I don't want a kid. Or it's, it'll ruin my career. And that's a reason to kill a child. If it's part of the 3.8%, it should be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. If not, it is cold-blooded murder for convenience. How did you do it? What, the, the bomb? Does it matter? Of course. What do you want to know? When did you plant it? Last night. How'd you know the layout? Send somebody in to check it out. Somebody? A woman? Makes sense. You know, Michael, if you were to tell us her Tell name, us her name. Cooperate, because it might go easier. Fuck you, don't be insulting. Fuck you, you're a murdering prick. I'll be as insulting as I want. If you're looking for an apology, you've come to the wrong no, place. I don't need an apology. Apologize to those poor people who are I dead now because you have something to, to prove. They are the they murderers, not me. Wrong they are engaging in mass murder. Like you. Why an entire they generation of people, they people they of all races, creeds, and colors, they are worse than genocide. It is massive murder for convenience. What the hell? You all right? Yeah. Jeez. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Shut the fuck up.
It's all right, Bill, you can go. Bullshit, I'm not going anywhere. Officer Charles. Shit. It's all right. It's just the beginning. No, it's not all right. <sighs> What do you mean, just the beginning? Of the price I will pay? Of the price that I've agreed to pay? I will be a target for people's hate for the rest of my life. You're just the beginning. You're not that significant. You'll be forgotten quickly. You're just... Another extremist nut who blew up an abortion clinic. It's happened before, and nobody remembers their name. Huh. When was yours? Ah. Let me guess. Young, career-oriented woman makes one mistake, one little moment of weakness, and then can't face the idea of raising a child and pursuing a career. Let's so much better, so much better. Just to, just to, like, have it taken care of and move along with your life, huh? Let's get back to how all this started. But there's another life involved, one that you've decided wasn't as important as yours. This is not what we're talking about, Michael. Hmm? Your own flesh and blood that you've decided to kill to make your life easier. Not what we're talking about, What Michael. reason did you have that was good enough to kill for, huh? You really gotta know. <sighs> okay. <sighs> yeah. We were young. That's about all you got right, dumbass. It was before the force. We both knew we didn't want a child. We didn't want a child. There were other options. No, 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 no. You don't get to question me, not in this room. We didn't want a child, and we didn't want to bring another unwanted kid into the world. He wasn't a bad guy, so we talked it out. We both knew we weren't going to last, and we didn't want to bring a kid into that. You know what? But honestly, it didn't matter what he thought. And all the arguments one way or the other, they didn't matter either. Whether it's fair or not, it's the truth. It's my body. It's my choice. It's that simple. I know you don't like it. Lots of guys don't. It means you're not running things. You still get to run 90% of the world, but you don't get to run me. It's that fucking simple. Now tell me about yours. Oh my God, you are a gutless coward. All this talk about paying the price for your beliefs, about being a martyr, but that isn't the truth, is it? You're just trying to atone for something that happened. Fuck you, that's not the way it happened. Well then, talk about it. Explain it to me. When she 
stopped asking about using rubber, and I took that as a compliment. Took it as sort of, sort of a, a commitment, like, like she was saying that she trusted me and I could trust her, and that we were, we were more together than we'd ever been before. I don't know, I was, I was, I was touched. I just figured that she was taking care of things, that she was doing what she needed to do. And I never asked what. I just figured that was her business. Then, one night, after we made love, she started crying. And I asked her, what was wrong? Why was she crying? And she said that she was pregnant. And I was, and I remember this distinctly. I was resentful. I didn't show it. I didn't let her know, but I thought, how could you not take care of that piece of things? Like, it was her job and she fucked up. But that's not what I said. You know what I said? I said, what do you want to do? I said, what do you want to do. And if there is a more cowardly answer than what do you want me to do, I have never been able to think of it. Not, I love you. Not, let's get married. Not, I'll take care of you and the baby. What do you want me to do? She said she was going to abort it. I paid half, and I didn't go with her. But I have seen him, though. Him? I have seen him. I'm sure it's him. I've seen him in my mind. I've seen him in the faces of children. I've seen him in my dreams. He's there. And he's asking me why he didn't get a life, why I didn't give him a life. He should have had a life. I am a coward. He should have had a life. They should all have lives. It's not fair. But we can change that. There are so many of us. All we need is something to wake us up, something to bring us together, and that's what I'm doing. I am bringing us together. You're Moses, I guess. Those are your words. Yeah, but that's what you think, isn't it? No, you have it? no idea what I think. Yes, you do. You think you're going to lead this uprising. If that is my calling, then so be it. There is no uprising. There is no silent majority. You are not Moses. You're Cain. You're a brutal violent, misogynist sociopath. You've taken something from your past and you've taken your guilt and your regret and you've twisted it into a personal vendetta. You know what you are? You are the good German. You can always say that you were just following orders that you didn't have a choice. 
Well, a choice is exactly what I have. That's what you're trying to take away from me. And so you choose to kill. It's not murder. And I choose to fight for those who can't defend themselves. No, you're fighting to control a woman's body, and that is not your choice. Why haven't you requested a lawyer? Because I don't need a lawyer. You don't want counsel? No. You know you're going to jail for the rest of your life. Yeah, probably. Suitable atonement. Not really. Not for all those lives of people and families that you've ruined, but it's the best we can do. Oh no, that's not what I'm atoning for. Those people, just casualties. The life of my son, that's what I'll suffer for. All I want is you off the streets, but you can't hurt any more innocent people. Like I'm the only one. <laughs>